Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Engineering Network. Today we will discuss the role of a site engineer in a building construction project. But before we start, if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel and click on this small bell icon so that you will get notified on my each update. So let's get started. As you already know that our today topic is the role of site engineer in building construction project. As a site engineer in a construction project of high rise building, you carry a lot of responsibility to finish the project in a time and with 100% accuracy. As we know construction projects are generally a one time activity and are irreversible in nature. Hence, it is on site engineer to inspect the work on construction site and ensure that everything is going as per the schedule, plan and design. Today we will discuss the role of civil site engineer in buildings. We will try to cover all the aspects of construction project and the points that a site engineer has to keep in his mind during his inspection of the field. In a way, these points reflect the role and responsibility of a site engineer in a construction project of a high-rise building. So the first point that we are going to discuss is the brickwork. Brickwork is very common in building construction project and as a civil engineer you must know about it. In brickwork, the first point is the alignment of bricks. During brickwork, the vertical alignment of bricks has to be constantly checked while piling bricks with the help of plumb bob. The next one is if you are constructing a 9 inch wall, then there is no need of providing steel rod and bricks in brickwork. But if the thickness of wall is 4.5 inches or 4.5 inches, then a steel rod must be placed after each 5 layers of bricks. Next important point is before you start the brickwork, the first thing that you must check is the bricks are soaked or not. Remember that the bricks must be soaked or wetted for 24 hours before its use and also should be wetted during its use as well. Another important point is during brickwork there must be kept a small gap be between bricks and the gap and that gap must be filled properly with mortar. Next one is the chipping must be done in the beams and columns before brickwork. Another important thing in a building construction project is casting of slab beams and columns. The first thing that a site engineer must look after it while casting a slab beam or column is the shuttering. The props used for, sh for supporting shuttering plies must be kept perfectly vertical and the gap between these props shouldn't exceed 1 meter. Props must be properly tightened. Another very important point is during casting of slab, the concrete mix shouldn't leak from downside of shuttering plies. If so, it must be checked and holes must be blocked. Next point is the spacing of rings and farm work should be checked and the gap between steel and farm work also be checked using the drawing of beams and slabs. Next very important point is the leveling of slab and beams has to be checked using theodolite before casting. Another very important point is the placement of spacer. Right, Small pieces of concrete blocks have to be inserted below farm work and steel to maintain the spacing. The last point in casting of slab and beams and columns is, is the blade wood used for supporting the slab should be changed after using it for casting slab 3 to 4 times. Another one is the finishing. The finishing is also very important in building construction project. Now, finishing basically means that plastering of building or floors. In the first point, a civil site engineer must remember during inspection of finishing is that 90 degree has to be maintained in all nooks and corners of room while plastering or finishing. Another point that a civil site engineer must remember during inspection of finishing is that he must check the finishing of plaster. And another one is alignments of walls, ducts should be checked, dimension of windows, doors uh, and other elements of rooms should be checked. So all these information 
are very useful and, and important for a server site engineer and if he is working on a building construction project then he must know about all these things so i hope it will be very useful for you guys and i hope that you will like it if yes then please click on the like button and if you have any question leave it in the comment box share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click on this small bell icon so that you will get notified on my each update until then it's a goodbye see you in next lesson